up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Legit Streetcars and welcome to a wonderful day here in the Chicago land area. So a lot of you guys know that I live in Chicago. We're very well known for really good pizza, beautiful skyline, super low crime rate. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. If you guys aren't from here, you know that Chicago has a bad reputation for crime. And I've noticed that at the auction, we've seen a big uptick in cars totaled out due to vandalism. So I found quite a few very, very interesting vandalism cars here at one of the largest auctions in the entire country. So we're gonna check them out because some of them, you can't really tell from the pictures why they were even totaled out. So we're gonna do that right now, but first, I have one of the, no, it's the biggest announcement ever coming on my channel. And since the YouTube community posts only get seen by like 1% of my viewers, I will be making this announcement first on my Instagram and Facebook page. And that's at Legit Streetcars. So Legit Streetcars on Facebook and on Instagram. Go follow me there. Huge channel announcement is coming. Okay, so we have quite a few really cool cars to check out today. This is actually not on my list an X6M, so this was not totaled out due to vandalism, but let's just take a quick, quick peek. Yeah, yeah, that's why it was totaled out. Not not the best of condition here. This is seeing better days, that is for sure. But this guy right here, a 2019 Audi Q7. So a car that's only two years old, very, very valuable, very difficult to total out, and this was vandalized. And I see this a lot where you really can't tell exactly what totaled it. So we have a couple flat tires. We have something going on right here. This is some body filler. So a little weird. Um, okay, 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 all right. I did not see this in the pictures, guys. Look at what we have here. That is a bullet hole. So this car apparently was shot. And let's see what we got going on inside before I step in here, okay. Looks generally safe. It kind of smells like they were trying to cover something up, if you know what I mean. Uh, but generally looks pretty clean. We don't have a cut up interior, so some of these vandalized cars uh, will have all of the leather seats just sliced up, the dash destroyed, the radio, all sorts of stuff. What do we got here? Okay, we got the battery sitting in a little bit of water. Yeah, okay. All right, so this thing was shot, but overall, I just, I mean, I don't see just that totaling it out. There's gotta be more to this story. We do not have any keys to try and start this up. So there's a possibility there's something going on with the engine, it's totally dead. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, this is starting to paint a little bit of a picture here. So this is some kind of patch that someone put on here. There's some more filler in there. And I wonder if that was to hide something else. Hang on, let's see on the inside. Um, I don't see where anything... Did you guys catch it? There is a hole in the door panel from where the bullet went through, and I totally missed this during the filming of the video. And you're going to notice throughout this video that I have to be kind of a forensic investigator to figure out what has happened to these cars. So if you guys catch something that I didn't, definitely let us know in the comment section. Exited, unless they just replaced the door panel, but anyway guys, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, look at this, look at this. The bullet went in this way. Oh, and then it shot out the mirror. Then it shot out the mirror, crazy, crazy. Wow, all right, so this thing was involved in a shootout apparently. And now it's here at the auction, only 22,000 miles, 2019. So overall, you know, I don't know how well this car was maintained, but this isn't a bad car to pick up. It needs a little bit of work, but compared to other totaled out 2019 vehicles, not too bad. So living in Chicago, I don't really get to use my off-road ML55 all that much. And I know this isn't the most extreme off-roading in the world, but I'll take what I can get. And look at this, <laughs> we have an engine just sitting on a pallet. Looks like it may have just been ripped out of a, what is this thing, an Audi or a Volkswagen. You can see right there, pretty nuts. What is this, a Chevy. See, you can identify all of the parts that are laying around, wow. Wow, this is bad. All right, guys, <laughs> focus, focus. We got the ML55 sitting next to a Duramax Brodozer. This thing is quite beastly. No idea why it's totaled. I don't know, it's not on my list though. We're here right now to see this guy, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, an SRT 
Grand Cherokee, and this was totaled out due to vandalism as well. I saw a dent there on the passenger side, not enough to total this out. This side looks really nice, 68,000 miles. This is a really nice car. I'm telling you, some of these vandalism cars are the way to go. Wow, really nice. Let's check out the interior. Okay, all right. Looking good, it smells good. Not trying to cover anything up in this one. This is a beautiful car, beautiful. Hang on a second, it's probably dead. Ah, oh, it's dead. This was totaled out due to vandalism, guys. So unless they destroyed the engine or something like that, I really don't understand why this is totaled out. We don't have any holes in it. It looks really clean. Even if this thing did need an engine, I don't think that's enough to total it out. So, not really sure. This is quite the mystery. Okay, here, I, I may have found it. I may have found why this was totaled. Someone keyed it. It's kind of hard to tell in the rain, but someone keyed this thing. So, if they keyed every single panel, maybe they damaged the engine somehow, putting something in the gas tank, something like that. But if it required an entire new paint job, maybe it'd be totaled out. I don't know, this thing's still worth like $35,000, $40,000, something like that. It's a 17 with 68,000, so kind of a mystery here, but if this is a run and drive, it could be a smoking deal for someone. So I didn't know this was here, it's not on my list, but it says lost type unknown, and it looks great. It's got kind of a low tire right there. I think, yeah, this wheel looks to be kind of tweaked a little bit, so maybe some frame damage, something like that. This looks just like the one that me and Watch JR Go saw about a year ago at this same lot. I don't remember if it's the same one, but very, very similar. And wow, this thing, this thing has got some serious modifications going on here. Someone spent some big money on this car. I mean, if you buy one of these things new, here's some accident damage right here, and do all these mods, it's like a $100,000 truck, especially with the diesel. So yeah, oh, this is all just, oh, wow. Okay, you can see that airbag is blown up and this is completely twisted. So there's definitely some frame damage, some big time frame damage. Look at that, you can see that's bent. Yeah, the whole thing is tweaked, crazy. Next up, we have a 2020 Scat Pack Charger. Vandalism. Lots of Mopars going on here, guys. Little weird, a lot of these are getting stolen. You guys may have read about that, but 14,000, oh no, 1,400 miles totaled for vandalism. What are these? like? 50 something thousand dollars. I mean, to total this out means that it's got to have, you know, $40,000 roughly in damage, something like that. This is crazy. This thing looks to be brand new. I mean, it was just bought. Let's see, what does it smell like? It smells new. It smells new. There's some stuff taken apart over there. We have keys, cool interior. I wish you guys could smell some of these cars with me. This one's good, this one's good, but the other one's not good, not good at all. Let's see if it fires up with a thousand miles on it. Vandalism, what? What? Okay, yeah, like they took some stuff apart here. This thing was straight up stolen, wasn't it? They cut some wires here. Okay, not really sure. I got keys. Fires right up. This is insane. Fires right up. Runs great. Oh, sounds so good. Oh. Ooh. Little alignment issues going on there. Beautiful. Beautiful car. All right, another weird one here. And wait a minute. It's so crazy, sometimes when I'm filming a car, I won't even notice that there is another interesting car in the background. Sometimes you guys point this out in my other auction videos, but what is this? We have an AMG GT. This is a car I really, really want. You don't really see this too often at the auction, just kind of sitting out here, but this one looks to have been totaled out due to a, wow, a pretty nasty hit right here. <laughs> this one's funny. It was totaled out due to hail. Maybe a hail of bullets. Check this out. <laughs> Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. Any more? Oh, this one looks like it. Oh yeah, this one skimmed the car and probably broke out the back window. Wonderful. Any more? What is this? Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was, was that the one? I don't know. It skimmed the car, broke out the back window, maybe hit the seats, and then didn't make it out? Or did it? 
No, 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 it didn't. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Dude. I'm no forensics guy here, but what do we have at the top of this headrest? That looks like... That looks like the bullet. So, okay, here we go. Bullet came in there. Skimmed this headrest, you can see right here. It's kind of hard to get the camera up there. And then it hit the windshield there. Unreal, unreal, but it was totaled out due to hail. Yeah, seems legit. All right, and we have another 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. My friend just bought one of these. They are really cool trucks, really fast, adaptive cruise control, big old brakes. This one, let's see, are these the factory wheels? I think they might be, although I don't remember seeing them in this color. Not really sure. Comment down below if you know about these. Uh, 48,000 miles, kind of a cool color. You don't really see all that often. Look <laughs> at the tires back here. Unbelievable. Someone was having a little bit too much fun. Um, but this one was totaled out again. Vandalism. Okay. Something's going on here in the exhaust. That is that looks to be an animal. Probably an animal sitting in the exhaust. Nice. Very, very nice. Body seems to be in excellent condition. I am not seeing any key marks. I'm always afraid to open these cars. Oh, this thing's got juice. It's got power. Ah, it smells just like the uh the bullet hole Audi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. It has keys. Oh man, this one's kind of nasty in here. Let's see if it starts. Key fob, push button to start. Okay, we got it. Come on, baby. Brake plus that. Yeah, I got it. Doesn't start. Okay, we still have the engine. Don't know if it's blown or not. Aside from reeking and having ball tires, it looks to be in really good shape. So another mystery one. 2018 Lexus RX 350 totaled out due to vandalism and let's take a look here it's looking pretty minty clean to me not seeing any real damage just yet seems to be the common theme today looking all the way around tires all look good this thing looks really nice let's take a look okay we have current tags sitting in the passenger seat we have keys we have a very nice interior it smells brand new in here. We have power. So let's start this guy up. Let's see what's going on. Yep, fires right up. Runs beautifully. We don't even have any lights on. Silky smooth. Silky smooth. Runs beautifully. Totaled out for vandalism. Be on the lookout for vandalism cars, people. Go inspect them if you can. You can go to auctions too yourself and check these cars out in person. This is a brand new car for all intents and purposes. It looks phenomenal. All right, so this is a 2021 Range Rover. So what are these things? Like around $100,000. It has 1,300 miles. And let's take a look at what's going on. So they keyed it. We got that going on. That's an expensive fix, but definitely not enough to total out this type of SUV. So let's keep on looking here. Ah. An all too familiar sight today, a bullet hole. We got one there on the door. What else we got here? We have another one on this door. We have another one on the hood. Let's see, anything else? Any more bullet holes? Looks like some of the headlight broke apart. So we'll check that out. We're gonna pop the hood and see what happened in there, but let's see what we can see on the inside. Oh, here's another one. Here is another one. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. So it wasn't listed as biohazard, so don't worry. And they're very accurate with the biohazard listings. So none of the ones we're looking at today were listed as a biohazard. That's why I'm just kind of freely opening up the doors. And uh, yeah, look at this. Wow. So they basically shot the dash. It smells brand new in here. I mean, this is a 2021. Someone just bought this and it got shot up. Let's see, here we go. There is where the bullet entered after it went through the door and oh look at this was this stopped wow this one was stopped all right range rover for using some quality material this literally stopped a bullet cool got right through the uh the plastic trim there but couldn't make it through the aluminum door sill range rover tough right there oh wait did they shoot the wheel oh they shot the wheel too 
didn't really do much. That could be fixed. You can have a wheel that's been shot, totally fixed, powder coated, and you'd never know. It'd be an interesting listing. Wheels in decent shape outside of a bullet wound. All right, so let's see what we got here. Bullet came in, they were trying to shoot the engine. And uh, so let's see here, now that I am a forensic scientist, I'm gonna say that the trajectory of this bullet was over over yonder. And where did it go? Maybe I'm not the best forensic scientist here. I don't know where this went. Well, you probably won't see me on an episode of CSI anytime soon, but here you have it. Another one bites the dust due to the almighty bullet. You guys wanna see how I almost vandalized my own car? This is the coolant reservoir tank from the ML55. I replaced it this morning. Actually, I gotta add probably a little bit more coolant. Um, but if you guys saw the off-road series on this truck, you know that before the 1,000 mile trip to Michigan for the winter rally, uh, you know that the fan went bad. So me and OJ had to rig up a fan, except it's powered by a switch inside the car. It doesn't come on automatically. And I was moving the fleet around. The battery was low. I'm like, let me just let this thing charge for a little while. And then I forgot and I went inside and I showered and I ate dinner and luckily one of my neighbor's cameras picked up some activity by my house and it was smoke. It was smoke because this had blown out and the engine was smoking big time. So my friend drove by, my neighbor messaged me, I ran outside, I caught it in time. Luckily these kind of have like an overheat protection mode. So the engine died out, not from being locked up, um, but because the temperature was just way out of whack, it shut off. Uh, but everything's good. If any engine can survive a little overheating, it is the M113 and it's perfect. I filled it back up. We have a new reservoir, we have coolant, and I really got to replace that fan. All right guys, that'll do for today's video it's starting to rain once again so make sure to follow me at legit street cars on instagram and on facebook to see my big announcement something i'm very very excited about and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up share the video subscribe if you're new most importantly have an awesome day i'll catch all of you guys in the next one